Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, EAA webinars draw thousands. Ultralight Merlin development progresses. Lightweight 160 horsepower electric LSA motor unveiled. And I'm your host, Holland Blake. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our newest programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. EAA webinars draw thousands. Lovers of low and slow were captivated by the EAA's virtual ultralight days, which returned in 2023 with 15 webinars over three days in late February. The presentations highlighted the joys of ultralight flight to the more than 5,000 enthusiasts who availed themselves of live webinars featuring a variety of ultralight topics, including how to get started in the endeavor of ultralight flying, maintenance tips, and airport operations. The Virtual Ultralight Days program is a single facet of the EAA's robust online curricula for aviators and or those interested in the world of flight. January 2023's Home Builders Week saw a record number of more than 15,000 webinar attendees. Learn to Fly Week will make its debut in May 2023 with five days comprising 11 webinars, the goal of which is to help aspiring pilots achieve their dreams. The aforementioned events complement the EAA's year-round series of webinars, which contemporaneously teach viewers about aviation history and present tips germane to becoming a better pilot. The entirety of the EAA's webinars were offered free of charge to all inclined to attend. Archived recordings of past webinars are available online to EAA members. And after the break, massive innovative news program set to lead Sun & Fun 2023. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Massive innovative news program set to lead Sudden Fun 2023. What may be aviation's biggest news event for 2023 is on schedule for 10.30 ET on March 28th, live from the Sun & Fun Aerospace Expo. Featuring first news about dozens of exciting new airplanes, engines, avionics, programs, and other developments, the Innovation Preview invites one and all to join us live in the Sun & Fun Pavilion on the west side of the Sun & Fun Headquarter Building or log on to airborne-live.net. Take our word for it, you do not want to miss this massive news event. DOT publishes 2023 Sun and Fun Pilot Guidance. DOT has published guidance to the upcoming annual Sun and Fun Fly-In and Aerospace Expo to be held March 28th through April 2nd, 2023 at Lakeland Linder International Airport. Subject guidance pertains to a comprehensive gamut of topics that includes arrival and departure routes, radio communications, no radio protocols, NOTAMs, preferred VFR IFR filing and clearance delivery procedures, ground control and aircraft parking. Dark Arrow Prototype Nears Flight Testing The Dark Arrow team has recently focused on the sleek aircraft's landing gear actuation hardware and flight test planning. The gearboxes by which the Dark Arrow 1's main landing gear are retracted and extended were built in February. The completed gearboxes are currently undergoing installation in the prototype Dark Arrow 1 airframe. Discussions with an FAA-designated airworthiness representative are underway that will lead ostensibly to the issuance of an airworthiness certificate for the prototype Dark Arrow 1 and the commencement of flight testing. MS Flight Simulator Reno Air Races Series 2 announced. The next phase of the Microsoft Flight Simulator Reno Air Race Series is set to begin next week. Previously, an exhibition match featuring prominent Twitch and YouTube content creators from the MSFS community was presented. The upcoming event offers flight simulator aficionados of all derivations and skill levels opportunity to race for glory, bragging rights, and nifty prizes. The event's preliminary round will see up to 49 entrants selected at random to compete in seven unlimited class races, one race per contestant. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news.
Ultralight Merlin development progresses. Aero Marine LSA has an update on the Merlin Light. Earlier this year, the company claimed handy performance of the Merlin as equipped with the V-twin power engine, reporting that the ultralight-configured Merlin flew well during a trip to the Czech Republic. The high-wing tricycle-geared Merlin Light provides the soul of an old Cessna 152, updated and lightened for the modern era, while meeting stringent weight and cost requirements. This year, the demo models will be better than ever, with the first production model making its way to Sun and Fun with a distinctive green livery. Another ultralight legal Merlin will be sporting a brand new pair of Aero Marine 750 floats. The floats contain a single steerable retractable rudder. While some may prefer a twin water rudder setup, the lightweight and compact size of the aircraft should prove the single rudder adequate. Development on the V-twin equipped Merlin has also continued as they work out the miscellaneous niggles that inevitably arise with a whole cloth engine conversion. Recent efforts have focused on integrating the EMS with the new engine, as well as fine-tuning for the right sound and feel of an aircraft motor. The company notes, quote, The sound is perfect. No more two-stroke whine. Sounds like an aircraft should, end quote. And after these messages, lightweight 160-horsepower electric LSA motor unveiled. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Lightweight 160 horsepower electric LSA motor unveiled. Australian developer Kite Magnetics announced the completion of their 120 kilowatt electric propulsion unit, a small self-contained alternative to traditional light sport engines. Their model sports a well-chosen power output, about 160 horsepower compared to current LSA fare. Unlike the average small engine, however, their system, the KM120, tips the scales at a fraction of the mass of comparable engines. The KM120's exact weight hasn't yet been confirmed, likely because development is still ongoing, but the size appears easily portable for a single man. Kite says the foundation of the motor is the company's Aeroperm magnetic material, developed by the team that began the startup. Right now, they're targeting airworthiness under Australia's Civil Aviation Safety Authority for the LSA category, which will be followed by the requisite switch to FAA and EASA approval. The company has yet to announce their exact flight testing partner for the KM120, only hinting that they will begin building operational data over the coming year once they do. The plant is well suited to nearly any lightweight fixed-wing aircraft with mounting points similar to existing engines and compatibility with most commercial propeller designs. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.